أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا لا تحلوا شعائر الله ولا الشهر الحرام ولا الشهر الحرام ولا الهدي ولا القلائد ولا آمين البيت الحرام يبتغون فضلا من ربهم ورضوانا وإذا حللتم فاصطادوا ولا يجرمنكم شنآن قوم أن صدوكم عن المسجد الحرام أن تعتدوا وتعاونوا على البر والتقوى ولا تعاونوا على الإثم والعدوان واتقوا الله إن الله شديد العقاب الله سبحانه وتعالى سيز نرى سورة المائدة تعاونوا على البر والتقوى ولا تعاونوا على الإثم والعدوان help each other, cooperate each other, assist each other in all the good things and in the things of piety, but do not help each other in the sinful things and in the things which will create animosity. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us few principles in this beautiful, beautiful phrase. First, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, you cannot do all the good things by yourself. You need help to achieve the greater good. And that help will come when you are going to assist others in the good things because at the end of the day, the purpose is the good things and not your name and not your fame. That's a very first lesson we should learn from this ayah. Second, we are learning in this ayah that we have to complement each other instead of compete each other in the good things. If there are other Muslim brothers and sisters who are doing some good thing, I should compliment them because at the end of the day, they, good things are being achieved for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even if I'm not doing it, someone else is doing it, instead of competing and reinventing the wheel. Third, you don't have to completely agree 100% before you can even help them to do good things. This ayah is very clear. Whatever is good thing, help them. And whatever is sinful thing, do not help them. So you don't have to completely 100% agree like a perfectionist before you will help them. This is ex extremely important because perfection is the enemy of the good. Fourth, if we want to bring benefit to the ummah, we cannot do it alone. We cannot do any big thing alone or individually. We need help of the people, the help of brothers and sisters. This ayah is reminding us that by working together in a community, in a social environment, we can bring a positive change in the society. This particular ayah brings us out from the delusion of individualism which we are living right now. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us all the ability to help each other in all the good things and to stay away and to avoid helping each other in the sin and the things which create hostility. Ameen, Ya Rabbi.